I win Dixie a lot. I'll, I'll kind of show you um, the way I've, I've never, I don't think Nolf is, has anybody ever seen a video of Nolf actually teaching it? Nope. I think he don't teach it on purpose. Mm -hmm. Like, I got kind of my version that I, that I think, you know, we got a couple kids that are pretty good with it, and I'll talk about it a little bit. I, I'm big, I'm big on not showing technique that I haven't seen my guys prove at a high level because um, I don't want to just show you campy moves. I want to show you moves that actually work at a high level. Obviously, it works at a high level for him because he puts a lot of good people on his back. I'm going to show you the leg pass from here first. Um, get on my right leg. I'm going to show you the leg pass here first. Um, and again, I got to get the heel outside his hip. All right? So now he's going to split me again. So I'm going to rake stuff and cover. Okay, and he's going to post and split. Now, stay right here. When he gets ready to split, I want you to think about if I was throwing my leg up over the back of a horse to get in a saddle. Now, I'm not getting on the saddle on his back, but if I was throwing my leg up over a saddle to get on a horse, that's what I want you to think about. Now, when I throw this free leg up over the top, I'm trying to get my knee down to his hip. Remember on that single leg spin out when we used our knee to push away his hip to straighten the leg out? That's all we're doing in this position. Now, my free hand is going to come inside the toe right here before he gets weight on it. My outside arm is going to be on my elbow, kind of like a kickstand, right? So as he lifts, I'm going to go off to the side he's attacking, post on my elbow, dig in between his toes, and take my free knee and put it on the inside of the hip. So as he goes to split, I'm going to go out to my elbow, knee's going to come to the hip, hand's going to split his feet, okay? And in this position, I'm just going to push the knee away, with my push his hip away with my knee pull the foot to the bend of my elbow and we know what to do from here right punch away from the body all that good stuff if he follows i sit back right if uh if he doesn't i knee slide out okay so up on my feet he shoots a single leg break stuff cover i'm trying to sprawl trying to beat him up right here don't want to scramble okay he posts and splits I start getting taken up over the top. I go post to my elbow, not my hand. My elbow, knee swings over the top, hand splits the toes. Push the hip away, pull the foot out, okay? Bend to the elbow, right there on the sock, post, slide up. So we've gotten that timing to where we see the mat and slap the mat when we were splitting them. That's a real good time to use that same skill when we're turning here, changing knees back into his body to finish on the scramble. All right? But again, when I split, when he splits me, I got to swing that knee over the top and get off to the side. Notice I'm not going to my hip initially. Okay? Over here. So he's in on this single. All right? Raise self cover. Square. I'm setting my anchor every time. He posts and splits. When he posts and split, I'm out. I'm not going to the side. He's taking me over the top, I post out, slide off, catch the toe, right here. All at one time, knee comes over, pushes the hip out, windshield wiper that foot, bring it to the bend of my elbow. All right, if he so does stay with me. Are you pushing off with that left foot, with that knee, or are you pushing off with your right foot? I, my, both. I'm always trying to get my feet in the mat. Does everybody see where my right foot's at right now? I'm always trying to get my feet in the mat. Even if I just get a little bit of a little bit of the mat, it's better than nothing. I'm not here passing the leg, okay? Just passing it with my arms. My right toes in the mat, my knees pushing away, and as soon as I get this leg straight, feet are back in the mat. If he does follow me, scoop that knee, push back, work up the leg, get back to the same position we've been getting to this whole camp. Now you guys are starting to realize there's actually fundamentals in places we get to in all these scrambles, all right? But make sure we're in between the toes, we're windshield wiping the foot out, we're pushing the knee away, and we're getting to our leg pass. Questions? What's up? Yeah. One more time? Sure. Okay, so single leg, great stuff cover. All right, he might be trying to run the corner here, and I'm keeping him out front, keeping him out front, keeping him out front, then he goes to split. Circle a little bit more. Then he goes to split, he posts and split. I get to elbow, I almost shoot off the side, okay? Hand drops in between the toes, right here. I might have to wrestle here a little bit and attack this foot. But once I get it, bend to the elbow. Don't try to pass it like this. I'm, I'm super weak, not very controlled here. Make it part of your body. Get your feet back in the mat, okay? I've even seen some guys diving out and ducking ankles right here, just drilling. Nothing wrong with this, 
Okay, you get your timing down right, this is way better than passing a leg. All right, now you can start seeing where you can take certain positions that you feel good in and start mixing in some of this other technique we've been doing. Questions? Play in there, go. Let's get it.